One relatively new addition to 3D Coat's navigation bar here in the top right portion of the viewport is the contrast lighting icon. This effectively replaces the old ambient lighting icon. It has two modes to work with. One is high contrast, the other is low contrast. If you hover over this icon, you'll see a tooltip that explains that the high contrast mode is going to lock the panorama to some degree, and it's better for sculpting purposes, but it's not necessarily better for rendering or for visualization purposes. And what I mean by that is if you're applying shaders and trying to determine what the end result is going to look like when your model is finally rendered, then this high contrast mode is not the one to use. Let me double click and I can change to a high contrast mode or double click and go back to a low contrast mode but you do have the option to scrub from left to right to increase or decrease the level of contrast as you see fit. Okay, and if I were to click on the high contrast mode as I drag my environment map rotation icon, you can see the panorama is relatively locked to a very small degree. But if I were to double click on the contrast lighting icon again and then scrub once more, then I have the full range of the HDRI map. Okay, so again, the high contrast mode is best for sculpting and the low contrast mode is for rendering or visualization purposes. So that's a quick look at the contrast lighting icon here in 3D Coats navigation bar. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.